Good morning. Um, last night I noticed my ornate female box turtle named Ornetta digging a very large hole on the uh, north side of my box turtle enclosure and I'm going to make a short video to document uh, me digging them up. That little area right in the center of the viewfinder is where I'm going to be digging and I'm going to uh, try to show what it's like to dig up box turtle eggs. Hopefully there will be some box turtle eggs and this will be a video that you might enjoy watching. Well I'm going to try to do a short video and I'm going to jump in here and see if my tripod works for me. This is the area that I saw the turtle, I think, uh, Ornetta laid her eggs in uh, last night. And I have right up here my incubation uh, chamber that I'm going to artificially incubate eggs if I find them in here. And uh, last time I did this, I broke <laughs> one of the eggs. It really made me sad that Ornetta laid uh, six eggs and I was only able to uh, get five of them successfully transferred to the other uh, incubation area. I'm going to use a spoon. See if, uh, oh yeah. Oh, I found an egg. I'm going to carefully transfer that egg. <laughs> Got a dent on the top where I whacked it with that spoon. I never thought that they would be this close to the surface. Anyway, I'm going to place the egg in the same upward position into the incubation chamber. I have peat moss that's slightly moistened and I am um, just one egg. Oh, there's another egg. Should be. Oh, this is lumpy, bumpy ground. All right. So here's the second egg. I'll wipe off some of the dirt. It's got a dent on the side of it. Maybe the other one had a dent and it wasn't anything serious. Anyway, I'm placing the egg in an upward position, in the same position that it was in the ground. I understand from reading that uh, that's necessary to uh, get the eggs to incubate properly. Now one of the things that I've noticed is that the most important thing is the humidity. You know, I'm in eastern Oregon and the humidity here is uh, real dry. And so I've got moisture, actual water, underneath the uh, uh, chamber so that the uh, humidity inside of this uh, incubation chamber, I'm going to keep it inside the house where it's uh, oh, 78 or 80 degrees uh, all the rest of the summer. These eggs should hatch in September or October. There's five eggs so far. I'll see what else I got here. See if she laid six times. Oh, look at the size of that rock. All right, here's number six. And it has a dent in it also. It's real peculiar. I, I, I mean, I've never noticed so many eggs with uh, dents in them before. So there's six. That used to be the sum total of eggs that uh, she would be able to lay. You can see Oh, looks like Ornetta laid six eggs here. And so, uh, this concludes this part of the, uh, I'll come back and cover this hole up so it all looks real nice and natural. Uh, right here is the uh, eggs. I'm going to walk over here and uh, take a picture of them and sort of give you a brief, um, that only took a, a couple minutes to uh, uh, dig those up, 
and I dug all six of them up. What I'll do is I will uh, take some of this moist peat moss like this and I'll sprinkle over the top of these uh, six eggs like this so that the uh, eggs themselves will be uh, covered with a, sort of a moist kind of uh, peat moss. I've already moistened this and it's just almost you cannot squeeze, squeeze any water out of this peat moss. It's, uh, it's uh, just slightly moistened. And what I'll do is I'll just have a light covering like that. I think there's some antibacterial or anti-mold uh, things going on with peat moss. And ordinarily, uh, the uh, mold doesn't grow in it. And so I like peat moss for a, a uh, incubation material. So this concludes this uh, part of the incubation video. And... Uh, Reproduction of uh, box turtles, <laughs> my style, it's definitely not the way I recommend anybody doing it, but it's the way I do it. I'll just keep these covered inside the house in that uh, artificially, well, about 78 to 80 degree area. One of the things, the tricks that I picked up on the line is um, the idea of keeping any condensation from dripping onto the eggs as they hatch. Now this kind of trick was only used in uh, incubation of eggs uh, that were uh, not being incubated in soil. I saw it in reference to red-eared sliders, but what I do is I cover up the uh, containers like that, and then I have a a lid that goes to my uh, incubation chamber and I'll label these uh, eggs as to the date that I dug them and the date that they were laid and uh, about in three months um, they should be hatching. I'll keep them uh, in an area where uh, they can incubate.